John, we have been here before. We have to be skeptical. We do. I, I think skepticism is healthy at this stage. It is encouraging news, but this is something that if it does begin as a process, it's going to be a long winding road and there's going to be a lot of setbacks. The thing we have to keep in mind, though, is up till now, what we've heard about the North Korean intention to engage the United States in talks is really reported from the South Korean side. So until we hear explicit terms laid out by the North Koreans or even this commitment to discussions by the North Korean side, uh, we have to keep our expectations here in check. There's a lot of political capital being used by the South Korean Blue House in trying to get this process going. Uh, but until we hear that confirmation from the North Korean side, we're going to see a Washington that's going to be in wait and see mode. It comes to concessions, right? It comes down to concessions. What concessions would the U.S. and South Korea like to see before they can conclude that it is significant? Well, the bar is going to be very high. If you look at it from previous cycles, we have been in periods where the North Koreans have committed to some aspect of denuclearization talks. What's different now is how far advanced the North Korean nuclear weapons program is. If you look at the events of 2017, North Korea under Kim Jong-un conducted ballistic missile tests and their first intercontinental ballistic missile tests in J uh, July of last year. So you're looking at a threshold that is threatening the American homeland. And before when North Korea did their testing, it was really a regional threat. So it's that aspect of getting North Korea to initially commit to a freeze, but also show the signs of commitment to denuclearization. There is a formulation in the Trump White House called CVID, Complete Verifiable Irreversible Disarmament. So you get a sense of how high the bar is.